Alright, I'm going to show you quickly how to load a tune. Uh, basically, what you want to do when you first get your K-Tune or V2 device, you're going to connect it to your car, your ECU. And once you do that, um, it's going to attempt to lock to your ECU. So once you unplug it from your car, you want to bring it back and plug it to your computer. And then it's going to ask you to lock it to your ECU. And once you do that, you'll be able to load your tunes. So you all you do is go in here, and go to new tune, and your car is going to be listed here, your ECU. And so you'll hit next after that. And then you have these maps to choose from, or these uh, tunes to choose from. You got stage one, stage two, starter, uh, 16.5 psi. These are end user maps, which allow you to make quick little adjustments, um, pretty much for beginners. So you hit next, and basically once you hit next, that tune will be loaded. So it'll show you all the little parameters and all that stuff but all you really want to worry about is main parameters if you want to make any adjustments and see here you can make uh, rev limits or a basic two-step which will allow you to launch at a certain RPM if you want to uh, that's good really good for launching um, then you can go down here to quick adjustments it'll allow you to modify the throttle responsiveness turbo spool part throttle turbo responsiveness boost target ramp rate so if you want to change those um, here you have options between improved one improved two economy throttle response um, it'll just change how the uh, throttle responds then you have the factory spool improved one improved two um, factory uh, responsiveness here, improved responsiveness, improved responsiveness two, um, boost target ramp rate, improved one, improved two, aggressive one, aggressive two. So you can change all that if you want. And once you're actually done setting up, all you do is hit upload tune, and so then it'll give you a little warning like, oh, this is gonna uh, erase your ECU, yada yada yada. It won't actually do that until you connect it to your car, but you just hit yes. And this will allow you to name the tune so that when you connect it to your car and you choose uh, to flash a tune, it'll give you that name of the tune so you know you're, you're loading the right one. So you'll name it and then select it uh, or put it to either one of these five slots. And then you'll hit, uh, once you hit one of those slots, it's going to automatically just uh, do it to that slot. And so, pretty much after that, you'll get in your car and you'll pretty much load it up and you'll see how to do that pretty soon. In case anyone was wondering how simple it is to flash a K-Tune or two, why my windshield wipers are on, turn that off. Literally just hit this, have your car set to uh, on, not the engine on of course, but on the screen, press that, you hit flash, whatever your tunes are, and I've set the one that I want at 3 on the software, and when I do it, it's going to tell me what the name is, so that's VIP revision 1.3, it's asking me do I want to flash it, hit yes. It's gonna do that. Uh, it's gonna take about five minutes. And then uh, I'll show you what happens after it's pretty much done. We're almost done. I'll show you what happens when it's finished. Finalizing. <coughs> so it says flash was successful cycle the ECU power and press OK. So what I'm going to do is turn this key all the way off. <coughs> My allergy is killing me right now. I usually like to wait about 10 seconds.
Okay. So, that seems to be about long enough. And it's still saying press OK. So when I turn it back on to on, I'll wait another <clears throat> five seconds for everything to be done. Okay. So hit OK on this. And watch what happens. Alright, and it is done. I've successfully loaded this custom revision. And um, it's pretty simple. Right now you're just looking at my uh, all my gauges. Not control, not count, IAT, RPM, dial position, sensor, and uh, turbo control, pressure, target. So and then VSS is vehicle sustained speed, I believe. So you can do that and also uh, you actually have a shift light, whatever RPM you want. So It'll turn whatever color you want it to turn at your desired RPM. So, that's another uh, good thing about K Tuner version 2. So, I mean, it's definitely pretty good. Base maps are not bad at all. Uh, literally, all you're doing is just plugging the cord into here, down at the bottom, running it to your K Tuner unit, and doing exactly what I just described. I mean, first, you want to set it up in the software on your uh, computer or whatever and uh, all you're doing is pretty much open tune upload tune to the device and once you upload it to the device you'll do the steps that I pretty much showed earlier so that's pretty much it uh, process is pretty simple as you can see thanks see you all later